guys? It's your boy G, and I'm back again with another one. And you guys already know what it is. You guys see the title. It's Hardcore Leveling Warrior. So I'm excited to be back because I'm loving this series. This series has been one of my surprising uh, surprisers of the year <laughs> so far. And uh, I just, I'm just i just really liking it a lot. And the further I get into it, the more I like it. And I mean, and just, just more is being revealed, you know, as the story goes on too. Uh, characters are, are really interesting. At first, I was kind of like not feeling Dark, but Dark's actually growing on to me. Uh, Heart Heater, surprisingly, has been pretty dope for me. So I'm really doing it serious. But first and foremost, if you guys like the video, please like the video, share it out, and, you know, follow, subscribe. Hey, hit the notification button too, because I don't know if anybody's getting notified when, I, when our videos go live, but, I mean, that is much appreciated. We need that love and support besides the love and support you guys have been giving us for the last last like eight months it's been pretty crazy uh but we thank you guys and appreciate all of the support so i'm gonna do a quick recap and then we're gonna go straight into it so um last time we what do we what were we at? okay so heart heater had taken uh sora and dark to meet um is it kushima kushima's uh his sister uh, Hala, the 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 bunny chick or like fox chick or wherever she was. I don't, I don't, we'll see who she is again. Um, but he took him. To, he took them to meet her so she can uh, like open up their characters specializations or something along the lines of that. But we also seen that you know hardcore Ethan, he had performed an act uh, pretty much like in game cheating and he opened up like a black uh, skill list that allowed him to do some. Some attacks that that I guess that he had not unlocked or they weren't his yet, um, in order to beat that uh that red player, which they did, but in the process he went into hiding because you know he violated the rules in terms of the game. So back to Heart Heater and, and Dark and Sora, we seen Sora actually get her specialization, which had to do with her eating. The more she eat, the more strength she gained, and uh, it was pretty crazy. And then back to Ethan. We seen him going to like a, I want to see like a cave where he has to like um, it's like a cave of forgiveness where he pretty much committed a sin in the game, so he has to uh, like you know, pretty much like apologize for his sins and own up to him, but in the f and he has to look his sin in the face, which is pretty much himself. So um, that's where we left off with him, and then uh, like I said, we seen a uh, sword get her. Her specialization, which was the taster, you know, uh, she can just just taste and eat crap like crazy. And darks, we didn't quite see him get his, but hopefully we'll see that now. So let's get into it. All right, guys, first and foremost, you guys have been great and excellent to stick with me with through these series, and I appreciate it. And I'm also apologizing here for my last video I did with the audio being all jacked up. I've been, like, testing some things out, and I'll be the first one to say it. I'm not a big fan of the way I sound sometimes, so, like, I won't go back and replay and listen to the videos. That is my bad. I know the sound sounded terrible in um my last video, and I'm sorry for that, but... Uh, <laughs> That's what I wanted to say, so hopefully I sound better this time around, and I'll actually check it out afterwards, but uh, let's get into this. Alright, so, title screen, of course, Lucid Adventures. Hmm, what the hell's going on here? Ah. <laughs> His face. This is great. This is freaking great. Are oh, you right on a dragon, Sora. Why are we riding on dragon? Sora did it in town. And why are we on the back today? Hmm. Yeah, they're going somewhere else, right? It's field training, little boss. You wanted to ride on a dragon, that's what it is. You can trust her, boss. Excuse me. Freaking shoulders bother me. She's the best at what she does. Holler. The one who unlocked the personal attribute of King Yopi. Yo! So that's 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 pretty crazy she unlocked king yopi's um personal attribute so that's what she just did to um sora which is the tasty one 
she's acting out of her self-interest but she's not wrong dang that is legit that is legit she's actually a pretty dope character i want to see um where like what else she can do or what she can even do for hardcore we're here let's go down what are you trying to do here and so what's my mission hey little boss your personal attribute could be a very unique one which may be unlocked during a fight i like how she calls him little boss i mean because he technically is heart eater's boss and she loves heart eater so but i've already faced a lot of strong enemies they're not strong enough i'm talking about someone you can hardly handle that's when your personal attribute will be unlocked yeah he did fight some hella hard ones so that's why i brought you out here that's why we traveled this far huh is this like a place where a field boss is spawn no looks like i'll play that role this time boss oh shit. what are you talking about against heart heater yeah little boss your personal attribute will never be unlocked unless you're facing someone as strong as him what so are you ready boss uh actually i've never seen heart eater fight in person what is it get ready overwhelmingness yo look at heart heater yo look at my man yo that yo 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 that's that's on the thumbnail just that's gonna be on the thumbnail for sure ready step i don't know his ability so let's see what he's got first use summon skin <laughs> really really you summon those little skeletons again okay i'll beat you I've leveled up quite a bit, Heart Heater. New skill, Enchanted Magic, the weapon of the dead. So he's giving them, now he gives them weapons. Okay, okay, okay. Mixing up those two skills. They're pretty good skill combination, boss. So that's not enough. You're just testing me out. <laughs> what the hell? Phew. Don't take this lightly, Heart Heater. This is your responsibility. I got this. Damn. Just destroy my skeletons without even using a skill. Then I'll attack him myself. Whoosh. You need to work on the projectile magic boss. My magic did nothing. Damn it. Let me just finish this quickly. Oh, shit. It's too risky to fight one-on-one. -on -one. First, defend. Then find an opening. Use summon stone... <laughs> Look at this golem you should summon. Like, what is this crap? This shit's terrible. Straight terrible. Like, what is it gonna do? A golem. Our heaters underestimate me. Let me look for an opening. Protect me, golem. Yo, he just launched himself in the air. Look how high he is. You can't defend this now. Uh, this is going to be a little hot. Damn, dragon magic, fire breath. Yo. Was I too hard on him? Is this enough, Holla? Heart heater. Yo, so that's probably why he's called heart heater, because that fool, his fire is crazy. Behind you. Wham. When the golem was protecting me, I hid inside the pit as the skeleton came out of and I hid Lazzy inside the golem when I summoned it doing everything you can that's what hardcore leveling does hardcore leveling warrior does ha huh. great you grew up boss bah, 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 bah. <laughs> not only did my master grow up I grew up as well Flick. yo he flicked his wrist and grabbed this dude's head I knew you were hiding. I'm doing this for you, boss. Do I do? There's really no answer. He's too strong. It's just like... What? This man just bashed his foot on the ground? Dragon magic, ground break. There's a flame on the ground. Dude, look at him rush. I'm sorry, boss. Yo, look at that. Did he just put his hand through him? Sh 
Shut up. He put his hand through him for a second. I saw this. Before it happened. Was it a deja vu? Dark died. Dark's personal attribute is unlocked. What? Are you shitting me? Oh my gosh. Oh, Dark. That makes sense. Dark's like a little necromancer anyway. It has to deal with death. What the f... Oh shit. Now we see Ethan hardcore leveling where he's fighting with his sins. These guys. They're mimicking my attack pattern in different ways. Skills. Just pretending to be me. Who's the best player in this game? That's too easy. They're following my attack pattern. I'm changing my attack pattern. I could finish them with Hellfire. But in a place like this, it could inflict damage upon me. This really feels weird. Aha. Phew. Is this it? Got oh, quite a lot of XP. Wow, that's incredible. Who's there? <laughs> that was a warm up. Those shadow dolls weren't fun, were they? They're just soulless bodies. I mean, real sin. Whoa, whoa. Put that down. If I wanted to fight, I could have finished you off already. Yeah. When I expected you, it seemed like you were a gambler. You want to make a bet? What? I said I inspected you. I can get out of here if I use your betting. But your betting skill is ba not bound by the rules in the game, which means that I can use the skill to avoid the dragon's curse and get out of here. So, if you win, I stay here instead of you. But if I win, if I win, you're getting rid of my sins, right? Yeah. He's a guy who can read my mind, so I can't be sure if I can win. But we are talking about pure luck. I have a chance. Hmm, whatever. Let's do it. Okay, I'll take the bet. If I get stuck here, I'm done. All right, gambler. I'll let you pick the category. Category, let's see. Hmm, let's do this. I'll play three dice of attack and defend. Clack, clack. Aha, uh -huh, Dices, you're an idiot. Can't beat me, hardcore leveling warrior. It's the only game we can play right now. Let us use the three dice. All right. These are enchanted, but there is no gimmicks. If you can read my memories, you can see them, right? You're right, they're not. But before we start, I'd like to know your abilities. How do you get rid of my sins? You're so disrespectful, hardcore leveling warrior. I'll show you how. Pulling out your memories. The mind mirror. And by cover the memories just like that. Well, in your world, they call it data manipulation. The cover memories can only be seen by you and me. No one else will remember them. Memory manipulation. Okay. I trust you now. It's real and just one more thing before we start. Hmm? How did the dragon get you? You're stronger than that. I messed with the dragon's lady. My abilities didn't work on the dragon. Can we cut the crap and begin? No, no. Can't start like this. What are you waiting for? Let's just get it on. What if you what if you change my memory when I win the bet? Hmm. I never do that to you. Look at his fucking face, dude. That lying, I know you saw this when you read my mind. For your own safety. The ruler, the mediator, the ruler is summoned with hardcore leveling warrior's personal attribute. It watches the rules to be obeyed. The ruler, the mediator. Hmm, okay. Whatever, all right. The game is played here, the cave of atonement. The players are hardcore leveling warrior and the spirit of the mirror. What do you wish for the victory awards and the rules for the game? I want to I want to cover my sins by using the ability of the spirit mirror. But the, but the memory manipulation ability cannot be used during the game. If I win, I want him to stay here for me. That's what I want. The rules are set. 
if you ever break the rules i'll break your wrist with the, <laughs> this hammer right here <laughs> so don't she understood okay got it the dice of attacking defend this is a game that kids play in yopi land but it's a little different this time because you're actually taking the damage by the results okay i'll grant each of you life points the first one to have his life to zero loses the game is over let me explain the rules first you get to roll the dice after deciding who gets to roll first the white dice decides whether you attack or defend if, so, if it's an odd number you attack if it's an even number you defend if the number of the blue dice is greater you either magic attack or defend magic the number of the red dice is greater you either attack physical or defend physically it's more than two numbers are the same you roll again there are two dice with the same numbers it's a double if there are three it's a triple when you roll again you add those numbers together to the next one damn for example if hardcore leveling warrior got red green a red three blue two and a white two and the spirit mirror got red one blue two white three magic defense can't guard against physical so the damage is three but if the red number was greater in the blue number, the damage would have been zero for the spirit. If both players roll odd numbers, they both take damage. If both players roll even numbers, numbers will be added in the next turn. You know the rules, right? Let's get started. The game's on. I let you choose the category, so I'll play first. Is that fair? Go ahead. <laughs> the spirit of the mirror rolls. White, odd, blue, five, red, two so he's gonna get to attack with blue because this blue is the highest the spirit of the mirror and odd number with the blue number of five a magic attack will have five damage your turn hardcore mm -hmm. he rolls he got a blue one that's tough blue one odd white red four hardcore leveling warrior and odd number with a red number of four a sword with four damage. Hardcore leveling warrior takes five magic damage. The spirit of the mirror takes four physical. The spirit of the mirror had the greater number, so he plays first. Spirit, he got fuck. Red six, white odd, blue two. Damn. Hardcore leveling warrior, blue one, red two. White even. Deals four physical damage. Ole. Hardcore leveling warrior loses four life points. And he's down to 20. Gah. The next turn, the spirit of mirrors continues to play first. Gah, gah. The spirit of the mirror. A magic attack of six damage. Arco level and warrior. A physical defense of two. Arco level and warrior takes six magic damage. Damn, he's down to 14. Ugh. And you're a gambler. Really? Looks more like a, a gambler myself. I have the same stats and skills and the same everything as you as yours. You shouldn't have trusted yourself too much. It's your mistake. I can read your thought and memories. I know you thought that you could beat me in this game. It's all in my head right there, right here. You shouldn't have accepted this challenge. Ah, oh, shut up. This guy talks too much. Just roll the dice. Good. That's more like it. That's more like you. All you do is bluff, and I'm winning the game. Spirit. The spirit of the mirror. A physical attack of five damage. Hey, man. I don't make money on the first bet. Arco level where defense... Magic defense of three. Arco level warrior takes six physical damage. Damn, he's getting smacked. The stakes. Arco level and warrior only has eight points left. When I'm losing like this, he's going to put down more money because it looks like he's gonna win. Okay, keep bluffing. One turn, I'll finish you on a single turn. Your bluffing is so good. But what now? You only got eight life points. And I got 26. As long as I defend your attack or attack you as you attack me, no way I'm losing this game. The spirit mirror with a defense, magic defense of six. 
a perfect defense of six. Yo, Arco Eleven Warrior's turn. Arco Eleven Warrior, defense of two, and it's a triple. Oh shit. Roll number, uh, rolls again. The numbers will be added to the next roll. You're lucky. It was pure luck. It won't happen again. He rolls him. What? How could he be so confident? And attack a fours. He can't do any damage anyway. Yo, he got fours again. Arco leveling, white four, blue four, red four. Another triple. Six plus 12. The point total is 18. What? Two consecutive triples? Do you know why they call it a gamble? Damn, no way. I still have a magic defense of six. If he can't roll a physical defense or an attack of six, I can still have a chance. Well, hardcore level and warriors triple. Triple the points are added again. Again, triple the points are added. What? Yo, he rolled two more times after that and, and triple his points? This, this makes no sense. Five consecutive triples. Hardcore level and warriors turn. A point total of 124 for Hardcore Level Warrior. He rolls a physical attack of 6 damage. It's a physical attack of 130 damage. <laughs> oh, shit. I lost. I did. I can't stand in this cave forever. Use skill. I wasn't going to use this. The Mind Mirror. Memory manipulation. Erase memory. I will change his memory to think that I won. And I will win. The ruler, rule breaker detected. How dare you break my rule? Didn't I tell you that I'll break your wrist with this hammer? The punishment for cheating, the hammer of fairness. Damn! I told you, my memory manipulation isn't working. The transcendence of this skill is applied here too. That I'll break your wrist, remember that? I can't move. Damn. My real personal attribute is the absolute luck. Uh, I thought I was finally getting out of here. Wham! The spirit zero. Damn! So, I think we just found out what hardcore leveling's personal attributes to absolute luck. That's crazy. So, times passed two weeks later, the last day to sign up for the combat tournament, the temple of a combat god. Rumble, 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 crowd, crowded. That's not. Why isn't he here? We need to sign up before sunset. We only, and we can only sign up when all three of us are here. What if he never arrives? Yeah, uh, never thought of that. If we can't fight in a tournament, what was the training for? What should we do? This is a once a year tournament. Calm down. He should be here soon. Excuse me. I still haven't found the party yet. Can I join you two? Uh, the sun is setting. We run out of time. Sure, you can join us. Oh, thanks. Hey. Hey, losers. You're gonna leave with you gonna you gonna leave me out? We almost missed it, you idiot. You would have lost in the preliminary rounds anyway, losers. Shut up. Why are you so late? Ah, whatever. Let's go get new items. Damn, he made it right in time, right in time. Go to the next one. Players aren't the only ones competing. Before the combat tournament, the Temple of Combat Gods, the combat market. I see this. The combat tournament draws a huge number of competitors, and there are sellers. The market consists of stores of a big scale, blacksmiths who create and sell their custom weapons, and many other sellers who wants to make money at once in a year market. I've never seen more stores in my life. They're all trying to make a fortune here. Let's go get Sora some I, let's go get sore items first. Mine? Yeah, your items are not good for you anymore. Your level is 70 and the item level is 40. Your equipment are all trash right now. Damn, straight up facts though. But they're still effective. The lifespan of both your sword and armor is almost over. You want to have yourself equipped and prepared before the tournament. Look at everyone around you. They're all trying to get good items. Look at items differences and level of about 10 can be overcome an rpg game that is the key your items are useless right now 
Let's go get your armor first. All right. What's wrong? Is it because of the money? Don't worry about that. The middle schooler will pay for everything. It's my money. No, I'll buy them myself. I just don't want to get rid of the items that I have on right now. They should have, some, that'd be pretty dope if they had some kind of form of like transmog. For those who don't know what transmog is, it's, it's a term using like RPG games and a, a skill, or not a skill, just something that's available in RPG games where you can wear any piece of armor that you like. Say you find something that you really, really like the way it looks, but at some point you outgrow it. Like like you said, and like your level exceeds the, the level of the armor. Or with, this, with transmog, you can grab a new piece of armor that is stronger but make it look like what you were currently wearing so you never give up that gear if you like the way it look so that'd be cool to have some kind of transmog in here where she can wear anything but it'll still look like this particular outfit for her back to our regular regularly tuned action and plus i picked up some things up and sold them along the way here and now i have a million gold oh that's it you could good you could get some good things for doing really Okay then, let's go get Sora's items. There are so many people here. They're handing out flyers too. Do you see any good stores? Start looking. Oh, Hardcore Leveling Warrior, here, here. Bling, bling. They're all new. I look fancy. Did I get mines here? Nope, not here. But they all look so good. Nah, they're man-made. Most of those fancy looking items are man-made. They're good quality, but they can be compared to the rewarded items of a field boss or from a dungeon. Oh, I see. Let's see. He's looking around. Oh, look at this guy. Where? Here. Hello. Welcome to the frog store. What can I get you today? Finally, the first customer. They look so cheap. Are you sure this is the place? A good store has unique and rare items, and they usually don't look that clean because... They travel a lot. This is where you can find good, some good items. Yes, that's right. I travel everywhere in Lucid Adventure World. I think he's just selling strange items. Hey man, do you have any armors for a swordsman? Swordswoman? Armors for a swordswoman? Sure I do. Oh, you look so gorgeous. I have something that's just for you. Oh, I'm flattered. Did my man just break out a fucking thong suit? Like, what is this? What do you think of this? The combat armor of the black succubus, both beautiful and sturdy. Would you like to try this on right here? <laughs> you fucking pervert. <laughs> That's a shame. Why is that a shame? So it's not your taste? No one does. And what about this? The blazing armor of the devil. In the devil's dungeon whoa else flowing armor of the wind from the wind dungeon it feels thin but sturdy a special deal is just for you just for you beautiful only 10 million gold what that's too much come on i do this for a living i can't really give it to you at a much lower price but if you try that on for once i'll give them to you for a million my man talking about 10 million but if she put that on he'll give it to her for a million she better strap it up Look, <laughs> she kicked his ass i'm sorry please forgive me you can take both for a million but don't you dare please be my friend i couldn't make any friends because i had to make money oh okay thank you this is my id this is my id message me you don't have to I'm sure he's got like more than 300 friends. You're so naive. <laughs> New armors. So we got your armor taken care of. Let's go back to Heart Heater's place and save them. Have them set up. Excuse me. Do you have any swords? I've got plenty. Take a look. Most of these are unique items, sir. Hmm. Where did you get all these? Oh, I got these from those high level dungeons near Tito Castle or Vansark. I got them from the players who were too lazy to go back to the village. Some items were dropped from field bosses. Surprise. Hey Frog, where did you get that one? Hmm, which one? The one in the corner. Ah, that one. I got it from a random guy on the street. 
It's an unidentified item, but I couldn't identify it with the tool even. And the sword can't be drawn from the sheath. Looks like a decoration. <laughs> oh, wow. I'll buy that. What? This is mine. Get off. Hey, hardcore leveling warrior. Master swordsman, hardcore leveling warrior's old friend. Yo, look at this guy. This guy's armor's pretty dope. Long time no see, huh? What's going on here? Are you fighting the tournament? Oh, and I'm older than you. Remember that. Who cares who's older? Get, get off me. Finally, you have a company. Uh huh. If I see as always. Uh, anyway, this is mine, so go away. Mm, nah, hey, Mr. Frog, I'll pay you more for that. So sell it to me. This guy is so stubborn. I guess it's because he has his friends with him. My clanmates are fighting the tournament as well, so they need a good sword too. Sir, let me buy that one. It's an honor to sell it to such a wise man. How much more are you willing to pay? Y'all can forget that one. I'm buying that. What? Get off, this is ours. I'll pay as much as you want. Oh my gosh. The eagle, the eagle sword which changes its stats and shape depending on the owner's personal attribute. I didn't think that I see this at a place like this. The Giga Empire, Lord of Ninth Castle, or Morton, to Anne Han. Him, pay for it. Yes, ma'am. Damn, we saw it first. That frog. You can't pay more than Giga. <sighs> Wee -hee! Thank you. Damn, well, hell. This is just in a box, but I can't lift it up. Hey, Kim. You try this. Yes, ma'am. They have big ass arms. Ugh. I'm sorry. It feels like the sword is denying me. Right, that sword is. Choosing the owner right now. You're up. Small and weak. <laughs> Small and weak guild rookie swordsman. Drip suit. Man, why me? Sora, go try it. Yeah, Arco Level Warriors Party. T Taster, Sora. <laughs> I'll try. Pro Morton's first swordsman manager, Kokomori. Go ahead. Who will the Eagle Sword choose? I don't care who pulls it out. I just want that damn money. All right, y'all, I'm going to end it here. I appreciate all the ones that are still here with me because I know it's a pretty long video, but you guys asked for them to be a little bit longer. You guys asked for more chapters or more episodes. I'm just delivering what you guys asked for. But again, I do thank you for whoever's still here with me. Uh, I thank you for all the support. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Leave comments down below because I love reading those things. Uh, and make sure you guys share it out. And it's been your boy G, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves and each other. Peace.